sorry about that. Anyway, all right, the rough grinding with the metal burrs is now over. But now, if, if you look here, I'm gonna try to zoom in, you're gonna see a ring ridge, and it's right here. Now, although that I don't feel, I do feel a little bit of an edge, what we're gonna do is, we're gonna take the stone, and we're going to go around here, and this is really sensitive. All you're doing is like a polish mode, and you're going to knock the edge and get it level. You're still going to have a little bit of gap between what was the seat, and I mean a very little gap. So watch what I'm doing here. This is very critical because you can really mess it up. This is probably the most intense that you're doing on this. If I had to describe what it is I'm doing, I'd call it a bounce because that's all I'm doing. Because the problem is, if you put too much pressure, you dig in here, you dig in there, but you've got to knock that edge off in order for that 30 degree angle to roll off in and there be no machinist ridge. And that's what this whole combustion chamber pain in the ass son of a bitch has been about, I tell you. And I'm sorry I didn't mean to cuss, but this is just painstaking time. And that's what I'm looking for right there. A little bit of line between the two. Because if you can see that little bit of line, that means that there's no feeling right there. Okay? And, and this is also prepping the rest of the chamber for the polishing. So it's kind of like, in a way, knocking two birds with one stone. You do have to prep it with the stone for the polishing, but you definitely want to go in there and knock that edge and make it where it's a little bit line. Now, the bad part is, you see my stone? You start off with a sharp stone, you can only use so much, and I gotta put another stone on there. So you'll go through eight stones, and you're only gonna use about 20% of the stone on the end to do this job that I just showed you. It don't mean that the stone's worthless no more, it's just you can't use it to corner. Then it becomes a deal that it has to be a surface thing, you know, like this right here. or on the edges right here where you've got a lot of cross-sectional area that you can lay open to to do. And As you notice, you can see, let me get you another angle, alright, you can see now, there is a dark line, that's where, you know, it had set, in time, or rust, or whatever, there's a line, now if I take my finger and run across it in every direction, guess what, I feel no ridge, now when I go in there, and I polish it, there's still going to be a little bitty bit of a line, but when I go in there and do that valve job and pull it, the 30 degree angle is going to go right past that line. That's the reason I had to go in here and grind this area out and lay it back at 15 or 20 degrees so that when I go in there with the, with the last angle, there's no ridge. If you don't do this, you're going to get a ridge. It's just that simple. 
Uh, so you have to make space, layer it down, come down. I have lowered this whole combustion chamber floor probably, uh, I think I, I'm estimating around 30 or 40 thousandths from that ridge. This has been a really difficult chamber, but I was after a current shape, and as you can see, I do believe I got it. Okay, it might not be the latest shape. It might not be the newest bells and whistles from Brodex or Dart. However, it is so close to a current state-of-the-art shape. Here, 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 kidney bean and all that, that while it might not be, you know, stamped out the state, we got to remember that this head was made the year I was born, 1960. And to have a shape from 1960 that's even remotely close is absolutely incredible. This is one of the only heads I've seen it. So you Ford FE guys, this is a stick of dynamite right here. Uh, your surface to volume ratio, unshrouding, closed chamber, it's like you've got this whole package in one. It's, I've only seen two of these heads, you know, come through my hands. I'm sure there's going to be guys out there that say, oh, we got these in our backyard, right, all that shit. Well, I've been doing a lot of them and I ain't seen too many of them. Anyway, just wanted to catch that last little bit for you and let you see uh, how I take the stone and roll that last little ridge because I do this to every one. There has to be a distance, a blend, all that coordination with combustion chamber. All right.